Hello, my dear friends. I am Dr. Osam Rahim from Easy and Different Radiology. Today, we will talk about the second mnemonic word, uh, which is uh, talking about the unilateral hyperleucent hemithorax. And the mnemonic words to remember the differential diagnosis is CAPEP or CBAP. My presentation today is talking about this chest X ray imaging which is showing a hyperleucine lung in this left side for that patient and this is another patient have hyperleucine lung also in the left side for another cause when I presented by frontal chest radiograph and showing this hyperleucine unilateral hyperleucine hemithorax in one side only so what is the differential diagnosis for that? The differential diagnosis is CAPAB, CAPAB, C from chest wall, B from positioning, A from airway disease, P from pneumothorax, and P from pulmonary embolus. Chest wall diseases which can cause unilateral hyperleucine hemithorax is uh, Poland syndrome, mastectomy, and polio. And you can remember also by PMP. Positioning due to rotations or scoliosis, and also remembered by RS. Airway disease like congenital lupar emphysema or other types of emphysema like obstructive emphysema due to foreign body, and Swire James syndromes or McLeod syndrome, the other name for, the, for it. Pneumothorax and pulmonary embolus also can cause the unilateral hyperleucine hemithorax. So, chest wall, PMB, positioning, RS, airway disease, CS, pneumothorax, and pulmonary embolus. And this diagram which showing also the CAPAB differential diagnosis for the unilateral hyperleucine hemithorax, chest wall, from C, positioning from B, airway disease from A, and pneumothorax or pulmonary embolus from P. Chest wall, PMP, Poland, mastectomy or polio, positioning due to irritation or sclerosis, airway disease due to congenital lobar emphysema or Swire jam syndrome. Thank you very much for your watching and I will prepare the detailed presentations about that unilateral hyperleucine hemisaurus in couples of uh, days or weeks and thank you and goodbye.